Good morning, and today we're going to talk about early literacy. I'm Miss Allison, and today we're going to talk about how early literacy can help you get your child, or whoever you're taking care of, ready to read. Did you know that singing is a great way to help your child learn new sounds and help them to develop and put together new words? Singing is a great way for you to practice whenever you're possibly changing your child's diaper. You can sing and they can help learn new sounds and new words and help them formulate them together. For example, one way you can do that is to encourage your child to do small motions while they're singing a song or while you're singing with them. For example, row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Great job, and this is a great way to help them get interactive and help sing along with you. Another way is to help them completely act out a song, such as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now this is a great song for whenever you're possibly putting your child down for a nap or putting them to bed, but when you're not, they can sing and act it out with you. For example, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I Very good. And those are just some ways that it can help, singing can help. For example, another reason is that singing slows down the language so that they can help learn each individual and precise sound that goes along with each word. For example, it helps with their attention and listening skills. It helps them to slow down and pay close attention. Also, one way is by changing the lyrics of a particular song, like bingo. And you can also help their child learn their name as well. So if you have a child, use their name instead of bingo. There was a mom who had a child and Alex was his name. A-L-E-X, 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 and Alex was his name. There was a mom who had a child, and Alex was his name. L E X, L E X, L E X, and Alex was his name. And you would go through each one of the clappings to each one of the letters to help your child learn their name. Another way is by helping them learn each individual task that you do on a daily basis. And you can sing and practice doing those as well. We're going to use the example of washing your hands because we do that on a daily basis. But you can also use it when your child needs to clean up something and play the cleanup song. Play and clean the cleanup song. For example, we're just going to use wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Wash the germs right down the drain. Wash them nice and clean. Very good. And those are just some ways that by slowing down the language, it can help them comprehend and help them understand language and literacy a little better. Another way is by repeated phrases. If you're repeating phrases whenever you're talking or whenever you're singing, it can help slow down language and can help them process it better and help the neurons and the stimulation for them. For example, one way is by singing a song faster and slower. And for this, you can use wheels on the bus. So we're going to go fast and we're also going to go slow. But we're going to start with slow. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Now we're going to go do one of them really fast. We're going to do the wipers. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 
swish, swish, swish, the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. Very good, and you can also use it to the other parts of wheels on the bus, such as honking, or the people going up and down, and those can also help with direction as well. The next one it can also help with is by going softer and louder with your voice. And we're gonna do this one to the tune of Old MacDonald. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And now we're gonna go softer. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Here and a wolf wolf there, here a wolf there, a wolf everywhere, a wolf wolf. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And you can do this with other animal sounds, and by learning literacy, you can also practice animal sounds. So doing these activities and doing these different exercises can help your child learn language better and help them get them ready to read a whole lot faster.